Car vous le savez, depuis une dizaine d'années, les militants anti-vaccins ont trouvé sur les réseaux sociaux une incroyable caisse de résonance. D'ailleurs, il y a trois semaines, c'est Facebook, la maison mère d'Instagram, qui avait déjà annoncé des mesures similaires. Concrètement, Facebook a modifié son algorithme de recherche afin, je cite, de réduire le référencement de groupes et de pages qui diffusent de la désinformation sur les vaccins. Voilà pour les annonces, mais dans les faits, il y a encore du travail. Ce matin encore, il suffit de taper « vaccin » sur Facebook ou Instagram pour voir apparaître dans les premiers résultats des groupes ou des publications anti-vaccin, voire carrément complotistes. En avril, j'ai écrit à vous que je suis disappointé que Facebook ne considère pas restreindre les droits de la liberté d'expression pour communiquer les risques associés avec les vaccinations. Je supporte les vaccinations des enfants et des adultes, mais je aussi supporte la communication ouverte et franche des risques de vaccination. Risk of vaccination. Every person should make vaccination decisions with full information. In recognition of the uncertainties, the risk of vaccinations, the federal government has created a vaccination trust fund that has paid out over $4 billion to compensate those who have been injured by vaccinations. Mr. Zuckerberg, is Facebook able to assure us that it will support users fair and open discussions and communications related to the risk as well as the benefits of vaccinations? <laughs> We do care deeply about giving people a voice and, and freedom of expression. Those are some of the founding values of, of the company. We also hear consistently from our community that people want us uh, to stop the spread of misinformation. So what we do is uh, we, we try to focus on, on misinformation that has the potential to lead to uh, physical harm or imminent harm. Um, and that can include especially misleading health advice. Uh, let's saying, kind of stick to this subject because our time is very limited. Are you 100% confident that, that vaccines pose no injury to any person on this planet? Congressman, I don't think it would be possible for anyone to be 100% confident, but my understanding of the scientific consensus is that uh, it, it is important that, that, that people get their vaccines. I, but. It, you, you said your, your platform, you want to, uh, you believe in giving people a voice. Doesn't somebody, shouldn't somebody have the opportunity to express an opinion different from yours? I mean, over $4 billion has been paid out by the fund. Over four thousands of people. Don't you think people should be able to have information to make an, an informed choice? Congressman, I do. And that's why we don't stop people from posting on their page uh, something that's wrong, right? If someone wants to post vaccine, uh, anti-vaccination content, or if they want to join a group where people are discussing that content, uh, we don't prevent them from doing that. But what we do is we, we don't go out of our way to make sure that our group recommendation systems try to show people or encourage people to join those groups. Okay. If you type in the name of a group exactly, you can, you can get the group. Uh, we're not going to hide it. We're not going to prevent you from joining it. Uh, but, but we're not going to recommend or go out of our way to, to show people content that would encourage people to join those groups. But well, people can share that content Many of the they people you know, harmed by this policy are, in fact, parents with disabled children, and, and I don't think we or you should be so quick to turn our backs on them.